Hey mathematicians, in this first example, you can see that we are starting out with a negative 24. So what exactly happens when you have negative 24 already, and then that number decreases, right? Which means it's going down because that's what the subtraction means. So since it started out negative, and it's going to decrease by 35, that means this is actually going to get even more negative, right? Because you started out at negative 24, and now you're going down even more than you already were. So this really means the same thing as adding two negatives together. Whenever you have subtraction of a positive, that means the exact same thing as adding a negative. Because either way, whether you're subtracting a positive or adding a negative, it really means the same thing because you're getting more negative. So this basically has the same impact as adding two negatives together. So you're really saying negative 24 plus negative 35, which means our total sum is going to be a negative 59. For number one, or I guess for this first problem. For number two, we're multiplying. And remember that the rule is the same for multiplying or dividing. So that a negative times a negative is equal to a positive. Positive times a positive is equal to a positive. So basically when the signs are the same, they end up positive. But then when you do a positive times a negative or a negative times a positive, in both cases, you end up with a negative number. So in this case, we're multiplying a positive times a negative number. So we're gonna look at this rule. So 10 times nine is 90. Positive, 10, positive times a negative is a 90, or I'm sorry, is a negative. So this is gonna be negative 90. And then again, the rules for multiplying and dividing are the same. So in the previous example, we showed you that a negative times a negative equals a positive. It's the same thing when you're dividing. A negative divided by a negative is also a positive. So using that rule, negative 54 divided by negative 9. 54 divided by 9 is 6. And then a negative times a negative is a positive. So you've got a positive 6.